Hi, as you can see from the title of this video, it's a response, and it's a response to Mike Gartner, and he asked his question via EdT 1138's Top 3 Tuesday. Now this was a question I felt compelled to answer, albeit a little bit late. And his great question is, what are your top three favourite games that involve or feature aliens? And the only stipulation in answering this question was that the game has to involve humans or humanoid creatures in some form. Now at first I thought, God, that's going to be a difficult question to answer. And, well, it was, but not for the reasons I was thinking. Because as soon as I started thinking about it, I realised that most of my favourite games involve aliens in one form or another. It's really quite amazing how many games do, and I guess for sort of the 80s and the 90s, aliens featured really heavily in the majority of games. Now, the first one I've chosen is something I've talked about before, and uh, it's actually the first game I ever bought. And it's this one, Citadel, on the Acorn Electron, but it's also available on the BBC Micro. Now, looking at this, you might think, well, what's that got to do with aliens? It's about a citadel and this chap here who looks like the Grim Reaper. Well, as it turns out, he's actually an alien, or at least he is according to the backstory to this game. Now, just briefly, I'll tell you about the story. And it centers around an alien. He's a dictator from another planet, and he's decided that he wants to invade Earth. And his chosen method of invasion is to send his evil minions, one of which is this monk-type creature. Well, in fact, there's quite a few of them in the game. Send them to Earth to take over a citadel and build a teleporter there where he can connect it to the teleporter on his planet and then send through his invasion forces. Now it seems like you're the only human who can do anything about this and your task is to go around the castle collecting things, solving puzzles, so you can eventually teleport yourself to the alien world, destroy their palace and come back and destroy the teleporter before they can send through anyone else to uh, to Earth. It's got aliens in it. It's a fantastic game. I love it. I really love this game. So I've decided to put that one at number three. Now, number two is something that, well, those of you that know me might have thought, well, that would be your number one, wouldn't it? Because it's something I've talked about numerous times, told you that I really love the game. And it's, of course, Space Harrier. Yep, there's aliens in it, there's a human in it. Brilliant game, fantastic, beautiful on-rails shooter. I mean, the Sega Master System version is nice, but obviously I'm thinking more in terms of the arcade game, but I don't have that to show you, unfortunately. God, I wish I did. But, yeah, I, I love this game. The use of aliens in this is really... Well, I mean, there's such a strange myriad of unique and weird and wonderful aliens in this that you'd probably think that this should really be number one, but there's actually something that... Oh, it's difficult to say whether I like it more than this, because, you know, when you get into your your favourite games at the top, it's, sometimes it's really difficult to put one above the others, but I think the one I've chosen for number one is probably even more suited to this type of question, because it's chock full of aliens, and also it hooks into the mythology of ufology. Hmm. So what could that be? Well, again, something else I've talked about recently, and it is UFO Enemy Unknown. And this game is a fantastic turn-based strategy game. One of the best and definitely my favourite game on the PC. It's something that even after all these years, I mean, this was made in the early 90s, something that I come back to time and time again. It, I just don't seem to tire of it. And it ties in so nicely with this question because, of course, it's about alien invasion forces coming to Earth and you are the humans who stand as Earth's last line of defence. And you, you know, have to intercept the UFOs as they're coming in. You have to go to the crash sites and destroy or capture the remaining aliens. You have to learn from their technology to develop new weapons to, well, basically defend yourself against 
the ever increasing forces that are, that are coming to Earth and eventually go to their planet and kick some Martian butt. So there we have it, my top three games featuring aliens. So thanks very much Mike for asking the question and thanks to Ed for allowing him to do so because now I know who he is. So from my spare room to wherever you are, this is Simon signing off. Bye bye.